The Royals looking for their first win while the Generals come in unbeaten. Royals up 1-0 early and Camden Daskalchunk buries his own rebound to even things up. Second period now, Noah Falat streaks in off the wing and wires a wrister that finds Twine and puts the Generals in front. And it looks like it could be a here-we-go-again situation for the Royals when Josh McDonald flies in and rips one home to put the Generals up 3-1. But the Royals weren't going anywhere. Braden Horvath bangs home the rebound off of Jonah Winton's shot for his second of the night. And then Stephen Lemieux makes a couple big stops on Lanessa Abwan, but she sticks with it and feeds Daisha Andrushuk, who ties this one up at three apiece. And they weren't done there. Horvath powers his way in and fires that one home for his hat trick. And the Royals have the lead midway through the third. The Generals, though, weren't going to hand them that first win. The point shot takes an aggressive hop off the boards right to Scott Laurelham, who makes no mistake. But with the game tied and under five minutes remaining, Turner to Corby puts home his own rebound off the feed from Josh Bryden to put the Royals back on top. But could they hang on? And the answer is yes, thanks to Ryan Kerrigan, who was huge between the pipes in a breakthrough 5-4 win for the Royals. It's pretty good. Like, we've never had a win, obviously, so, like... Um, just it brings the spirits up for the team and like definitely uh, will keep us going for the rest of the year. We started passing so it was a lot more, it was a lot faster than our other games and our goalie definitely put up his side of the, he definitely did his part.